Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. How are you? Today is day 11 of the 100 Day Craft Project. Thank you for joining me today. It's uh, Wednesday. I gotta get out my new calendar. It'll be March 1st soon. Um, thanks for joining me today. Thank you for all your kind comments on yesterday's video. I'm glad that that helped you out. It helped me out too, going over it with you. <laughs> um, beautiful blessings to Marietta Star. Uh, Marietta, I have um, like carpal tunnel and I also have, you know, arthritis in my hands. So whatever tools you see me using, I mean, everybody's in different levels. Some days my hands hurt worse than others, but whatever tools you see me using, um, you know, that's, that's what I suggest. Most of my tools are older and I mean, I don't really buy anything to work with. I just work how I'm comfortable. If I'm uncomfortable and, I, and my arthritis is bothering me, then I don't fussy cut that day or I use the cutter rather than as the scissors. And if I don't have any fussy cuts for a while, then I don't have any fussy cuts. I can't, I don't, um, I don't push it if I can't do it. Okay, so that was a great question. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to help you out. Um, maybe somebody else can chime in and leave a message on to what what tools you you would suggest. But I don't know that they really make tools geared towards people with arthritis. I don't think so. I know they have scissors with spring in them and things like that to cut easier. Um, let me see what I have here. I have a pair. I have these little uh, scissors, but I think they're by Fiskars. Let me see if there's a name. The only reason watch, oh yeah, Fiskars. They have a spring in them, but they're no different from a regular pair of scissors. It all just depends on how you hold them. <clears throat> so um, beautiful, beautiful blessings to Connie Chandler. Beautiful blessings to Phyllis Allen. Beautiful blessings to Fran Ashfield, Kim Holloway, and Kim Venek. Also, beautiful blessings to Dan. He's another hubby that watches my channel. And I was told from his wife that he can hear me when I talk and he comes in to look. So, beautiful blessings to you, Dan. <laughs> All right. I am going to um, get started here. But before I, before I get started, I came out with another kit. Um, I released it. Because of the fact that I'm going to be working with it. Remember I told you guys that I had stuff that I needed to get done so I could work with it. So yesterday I showed you the um, journal that I want to do for um, Ciro. I'm going to do one for Lucas too. So this one is for Ciro. And we'll do the one for Lucas together. Um, this is the kit that inspired me for both of them. And it is called um, Blue Moon Bunny Collage Easter Kit. So, these are the pages. Oh, let me move these things out of the way. And I did make sure that I had everything printed out the right way. I did, I did. Okay, so here are the pages. And they're collage pages. Um, five regular journal size collage pages. So that's one, two, Three, four, and then five. And I do have three boys, so I did this. This is Blue Moon. So if you like the color blue, it's not necessarily geared towards boys. However, I put some flowers in the bunny's hair and things like that. But it is more of a blue field, and I absolutely love it. All right, and then I did the tall pages for you all. And this is one, two, three, four, and five. And I did it in my fun way that I said I wanted to do it. And it mean meaning it's more childlike, but it also has a renaissance kind of, um, <coughs> excuse me, it's childlike, but it also has that Renaissance theme and feel to it. It's got childlike things mixed in with more authentic 
Renaissance things. And I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, these are the backer pages. There are six, I believe. So there's one. And they look beautiful on, you know, you can tell how they're going to look together. So one, this is two. I'll just give you an idea. This is three. And you can use them in the tall way or the regular journal way. This is four. This is five. And then this is six. And then there are four fussy cut pages. So I tried to give you a little bit of each of the designs that I use so you can cut them out in different sizes, different different formats. So this way you can just use them around the book. So this is page one, page two, page three, and page four. And these are just different pieces that I used in the background. This way you can take a piece and collage with it. It kind of looks like specialty paper. I love it. So that is the kit. That's the, that is for my grandchildren. I, I was inspired by them and it is already up in my shop. Thank you to all of you who purchased my journals yesterday. Um, they are gone. <laughs> I appreciate you so much. I will be getting them out to you ASAP. Thank you so much for, for that. Um, you, you guys have no idea the meaning behind it. Uh, you're helping me um, pay my rent <laughs> so while I teach you guys. <laughs> so thank you. All right, so I figured we will make Lucas's book together, you and I, and I'll show you how I did that. So I took a cover. This is a cover. They're very, very sturdy, these covers. And let me just look to see. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll use some of the backing here. So let me do that. I'll use some of the backer pages. I don't want to use so much of the prints because I'm going to use them in the book. So I'll just pull the backing here out. And again, like normal, I wasn't really completely, totally prepared, but I think we'll be okay. I really do. I have some other blue stuff here. Oh, we could use this. This is from... Ruby and Pearl. That's from one of my kits. I don't know that I'll use it. It's not really this bright blue color. No, that might be. That's from my Renaissance kit. And I'm just taking a look here to see what I could do to make Lucas's book. We can use this. I, I don't know that I made a kit for that yet, and I'm sorry about that. I have so many things printed out. Mm, possibly that. Possibly. 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 Let me make sure they're not double-sided. Some of these things I did not make kits for yet. I did. I am sorry. This this is in a kit. This is in my medieval bunny kit. Yeah. Oh, look at this. I have some blue things already ready to go. I didn't even know that. Okay, good. All right. Let's get started. Now, I did use paper on Ciro's book. This is this is all paper. This, of course, is fabric. Um, and I have more bunnies from my sister, so I'll have to find those. But I do have more felted bunnies from her. So this is just all paper, you guys. That's all it is. It's paper. And it looks like I have, like, ledger, book page, you know. This, this I made this four years ago. I think four years ago. And then this is with um, fabric down the center. So I'll just have to, you know, bind it. I'll just have to put my signature in. I only want one signature. It's only gonna be sweet little Easter book. And we're gonna do the same thing for Lucas now. Okay, so let's get started. And I am just going to collage like I would normally would. And I'm going to start 
I, I opened the entire thing. Oh, let me move these back here. Oh, sorry for that banging. Somebody slammed their door. Uh, let me see. Where's my glue book or glue paper? Here, I have this here. Sorry for moving the camera. Okay, I'm going to use my glue stick. I use Prick Glue. I'm a stickler for Prick Glue. It's all I really use. And I'm going to get going and we're going to collage. And this is all I'm really going to do. I'm going to collage. I'm going to say hi to you. I'm going to... And that's garbage. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know what glue I have left. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, I have some behind me. Okay. Whew, good. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to say hi to you guys, ask you how you all are, and I think that's what I was saying, mid-sentence, mid-mid-sentence. I'm a multitasker this evening. Not all evenings, but this evening. Thank you for allowing me the late video tonight. Um, I, oh wait, let me get a card. I took my... I picked my chil ch children, children, yes, my child and his girlfriend out from the airport. <clears throat> oh my goodness, it must be the wind or something. Somebody's banging. And um, I picked them up from the airport this morning very, very early. <laughs> like, and I didn't sleep because I was already up until 2. And then I had gotten tired and I said, I'm not going to close my eyes because if I close my eyes, I'm not going to get up in two hours to go and get them. So I stayed up and then of course I had my complete second wind and I went and picked them up and then we didn't, I didn't get home personally until six in the morning, 6.30 to be exact, because we were talking and then, um, I'll bring that up a little bit. And then um, I didn't actually go to bed until about 8.30 this morning um, because I was couldn't sleep. Now, I am going to let you know this. There is So when I do these things like this or anything, that for that matter, with the crease in it, see this has the crease in it, I always... Try to glue over the crease far so I could cover it and it won't open in the crease, like it won't split. Or I tried to do it before the crease. And then on this side, I would go over the crease, if you understand that. Um, because if I did this on the crease and then this on the crease, when I folded it, you would see the you would see the opening in the in the um, paper. And I wouldn't want that. So let's just continue. I'm just going to continue to collage here. <clears throat> I like collaging. It's relaxing to me. And I, I love it. I love it. Um, let me see. I'm going to take a little bit of this off. I may use that somewhere else. Maybe I could use it down here on the bottom. Maybe. I think so. Yeah, we'll do that up there. Okay. It is very windy outside. Um, I'm glad that my children had such a wonderful time. They missed the storm, thank goodness. There was a bad storm for traveling across the United States, apparently. Um, I don't have TV, so I, I was watching it on the, um, what do you call it? On the computer. And there were a lot of, oh, there were a lot of, um, delays in the airports but my kids did not have a delay thank goodness I was so happy about that they had a wonderful 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 time in Puerto Rico they want to come they want to go back and they want me to come and then my my um older son just asked me the other day he, he's like mom do you want to go to Disney World oh I'm gonna sneeze you guys I'm sorry <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Let me use um I didn't use my hands, but I'm going to do.
some antibiotic on there anyway. <sighs> Not antibiotic, alcohol. <laughs> You hear that wind? I don't know if you can hear it or not. My door is open. Feels good. Yes, so my son called me and asked me if I wanted to do the uh, Disney, like Disney stuff. And I was so excited. They said, of course, oh yes, yes. I don't wanna do Disney with Zero um, and Lucas. But the, uh, so I think the trip will kind of be based upon, he likes, uh, Lucas loves Universal Studios. That's what he likes. He likes the uh, Batman and, you know, the Marvel Universal Studios stuff. So we will see. I don't know if it'll be a lot of Mickey Mouse stuff. I'm not really sure. I'm hopeful. Um... Let me just look here. Let me see what I'm doing, because I don't know. I think I'm gonna skip over and do that there. I'm kind of talking and I lost my way. Let me um, see if I have a page, of, some book page here or some really nice, something nice. Let me see. Yeah, this is a lot of fun to do the um, to do the covers in and use the covers in your work. It really is, and you're recycling. <laughs> if you're a book person, you're recycling. Um, this is showing through just a little bit. Well, maybe it's okay. It says the gift. They are a gift to the children. They really are. Ooh, I can hear about that wind. Tonight's gonna be a windy, blustery night probably because it's been raining on and off today. But it's actually like a warm, uh, a little bit of warm air. Okay, and didn't I say I wanted to do that there? Let me get another page here. These are my mess ups, you guys, from my printer. So I'll just use them as glue pages. I've already made a ton of the um, napkin covered, like muted <laughs> ephemera. Okay. And then, excuse me, didn't mean to do that. Um, No. 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 I like it, but he's his name is L. I don't want to put a whole B there. No, I already did that one. Let's take a look at the new stuff. No. <laughs> Oh, a lion. No. Oh, my goodness. No. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, because he's not girly. <clears throat> he's a boy. i got to remember that. That's a, that's a girl on there. If I give it to him, he'll, he, don't, he'll have no problem saying, Nani, that's a, bo that's a girl. I'm a boy. <laughs> Believe me, he would. I like this together on here. This is, um, uh, <clears throat> I did say her name. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know it. Booby and Pearl. <laughs> it's part of her. I know I moved down. I'll move back up. I don't want to start over again with gluing. Okay. This way. And then 
That's good. Now we went over the middle, so I don't I won't have a seam in my paper. I'm wondering if I have any book page. <clears throat> I know I know I know I know what you're saying. Oh here I do. Here I do. Oh here. With numbers. That's fun. Yes, numbers. I may cover it up after with some kind of a thing on the front, but I don't care. It's fine with me. If I'm doing it now. It's perfectly fine. The kids texted me most of the day. Their cats stayed with them. <laughs> Their cats stayed in the area and the vicinity of them for most of the day today. They didn't want to leave them. <laughs> I thought that was cute. <clears throat> they really did miss them, and I could tell. I could tell that they missed them. I think what we'll do is this piece here. And... I want to leave it straight. Maybe I'll just give it a deckled edge. Let me go down there. And lift it here. And um, Deborah has sent me a list of names that have already purchased tickets. There's just a few seats left, you guys. So just letting you know. So we, oh yeah, so let me let me see this while I'm here. Because um, sometimes I forget that people only see one video or they don't, they don't know to look around like I haven't mentioned it before. So I, I will let you know if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am teaching in a class at the, for the Planner Chicks of Central Texas. Um, in September, we have a Junkie Edition 2 retreat. Junkie Edition 2.0, it is 2.0 retreat. Um, I offer information about the retreat. It is almost full, the class. I offer information about the retreat um, in, an, in an email. So you can email me <clears throat> at twistedpaperstudio at gmail.com. If you're new here, please know that you can find me anywhere on Twisted Paper Studio. I have a Facebook. I have a <clears throat> Instagram. I have a TikTok. And my email is twistedpaperstudio at gmail.com. I also have um, an Etsy shop where I sell my, I sell supplies, I sell paper, um, I sell digitals, I sell my books. I don't want to go up this high, or do I? No. Um... So you can find my things there at Twisted Paper Studio at, on, at Etsy. Um, there's the Junk Journal Retreat is from last year. I did, last year I was asked to come and host and, and help, help. You know, it wasn't even like the main event or anything. I was asked to come and help with the Junk Journal um, Retreat, the 1.0 uh, for Junkie Edition. And um, something happened along the ways where um, I was put into place of helping more than what I um, expected, but was excited to do so, and more than what the host was expecting me to do, but she was excited that I did so. And it worked out so well. I helped her, she helped me. And then, so now, I was asked to come back again, you guys, for... Um, you know, Junkie Edition 2.0. So I do often say there is a there is a uh, Planner Chicks of Central Texas is a group. It's a group on Facebook. Deborah it runs the Planner Chicks of Central Texas, and she has had many, many, many events in all sorts of areas, but not junk journaling. Last year, Junkie Edition 1.0 was her first junk journal retreat. And she wanted me a part of it. So she had reached out to me months in advance to see if I would come and help and do it. 
with her. Um, and of course, I was skeptical at first, but then said yes, ultimately, and it was the best decision I ever made in my entire lifetime. And Deborah knows this. I tell her all the time. <laughs> so um, it was the best decision I'd ever made. So now we are planning Junkie Edition 2.0. And Junkie Edition 2.0 is going to be held at the same venue. The venue is in the Glamp Inn, which is located inside of a warehouse type of place. It's sort of like a warehouse, that's what I would say. And um, it's run by a, a wonderful, wonderful family. Um, they're just, they're, they're very close to Deborah. They're very good people. She goes and has her things there all the time, so they're always welcoming her back with her crew. And um, they're very accommodating to the rest of everyone else who, who attends with Deborah's crew, Deborah's classes. Um, and, and then the place itself is, um, yes, somebody asked me, so you do room with other people. If you want to pick someone to go with, so you don't have to room with someone that you don't know, you can, you know, come and room together and state that. If you don't have anyone there, I'm sure there are others that don't have anyone as well to room with. So you would be, um, meeting and talking with them for the entire time in the group, in Deborah's Planner Chicks group. Um, and she's even so kind enough to the people who are traveling in from afar. Um, you know, we are trying to get together um, inside the group of the Planner Chicks of Central Texas and making it so that um, people can share the time and expense in the in getting a rental to get to the you know to get to the glamp in which is in round top texas and round top texas you guys if you don't know i google it if i were you because most of you are like me and you love your antiques and all that kind of stuff um round top texas is the largest or one of the largest areas to go antiquing and that is all they have there is antiquing and some restaurants <laughs> and shops and that's really about it they have and they have a glamp in <laughs> um but yes that is that is where we are going in the heart of antiquing world right over there in round top texas yes it is that's where we're going and i'm so excited because in all actuality, last year when I went, um, it wasn't the season. It was not the season for the shopping. It was not. And this year, it is because we're going in September. Last year, I went in August and they weren't open. This year, they're going to be open. The antiquing is going to be open. So um, I, I am thrilled to death and scared as anything because... <laughs> I am a shopaholic, <laughs> but we'll see. I'm, I'm super, super excited about the whole thing. So yeah, so if you are interested in the event or want to know more or just want to be around or a part of the, um, you know, girls that have attended or girls in the group, find your way on over to the Planner Chicks of Central Texas group page on Facebook. And of course there, if there is another one, which there could be a possibility. I don't really know. Um, it, you know, it's up in the air. But there's, you know, it could be. Um, if you find your way over there and you don't, you're not happening to make this one, you'll find out news if there are any more. Now, I really don't know, so don't please don't hold me to that. I honestly, I don't, I don't know. I'm not in charge of that stuff. Um, and then now, my people were asking me about my uh the. The, where the, um, there is the community, where was the thing I posted for the tool yesterday? I have, uh, where's my phone? In the, let me just go in here. Hold on. 
and see what you guys can see. When you log on YouTube, and you're in YouTube, you'll have, um, you can go to the person's page. Let me just see. I'll go to me. No, I'm putting in my name. Oh my goodness. Twisted Paper Studio. <sighs> Should I just go to me? Hold on. Let me check. Because <laughs> I really don't, I kind of don't know how to do that. Go here and go to me, Donna. Okay, so up up in the top in your in the videos, you're gonna have um let me pause this. You're gonna have a place to go. Uh, it's gonna be on yours. I don't know how to view it from oh, maybe I should view it from I see I'm viewing it for myself, but in the top menu, here let me go to I'll go to Leslie's page. Hold on. I'm gonna go to Leslie's. So in Leslie's page, she has home videos, shorts, playlists, and community. In her community page is where her posts are that she makes. That's where the the post is for the picture on my for my um the the oh my goodness the thing for the crocodile the the tool the crocodile um. What do you call it? Why can't I get my words out? The crocodile instructions. Oh my gosh. And hi, Leslie. I'm going to like her post here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's where you find the community, you guys, on your YouTube. It's on their page, kind of, per se. Um, and I couldn't see it because I, can't, I don't see it on my own page. All right, and I think I think I went over lots of stuff now. And then also, you guys, you know, sometimes I want you to know, I mean, I hope you're listening to me, but I want you to know, and you know, listening as in the volume's up and you're not just watching me. Because I do want you to know that there are, I'm very informative. I think that my viewers know that. And normally when I use something, or make something, 99% of the time I say where I got it, um, where it's from. Most times I do. Where I got it, where it's from, who made it, if it's made anymore, if it's old, if it's new. Normally I do. So if you're watching my videos, make sure you have the volume up because I see sometimes that people ask me questions that, that I know I've already answered in the video. I've already answered it in there. And um, sometimes I've, I'll get busy and maybe I won't have the time to answer you back. And you'll think I, I didn't answer you. But really, seriously, I have answered in the video. So try to try to take note of that. Um, I just want you to understand that. But if I didn't say it in the video, and I, and I, I will gladly tell you um, what it is and answer your question. I most certainly will. Okay, I think that's about it uh, for my j jibber jabber. Now, we're almost done with this. This is the cover. This is for Lucas. This is his book. Okay, and then tomorrow we're going to work on the Little Golden's book. And I have a little surprise for you for tomorrow's video. A little, a little surprise. Okay, so let's see. There is, let's do these first. These things, we'll fold this in first. This was the first fold. I'm just using my ruler, acting like a little bit of a score um, thing. I need a bone folder. In paper folding, you guys, the bone folder is your best friend. Um, it really, really, really is. Okay. A lot of times I use my card, but the bone folder really is works the best. Okay. It's one of my favorite tools. Did I do that over here? Yeah, I did. I could see I did. So, look what I did. I did what I said I not to do. <clears throat> so, I'm going to take something and cover it up right here. There's my glued spot and it's glued butted up right up to this this is the top 
and this is the bottom. And when I just folded it, I saw a tiny bit of white here on this side. And I'm glad I did that because now I could show you. Well, you would have known anyway. <laughs> you would have known if you did it that way. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna correct it right now. My um, so my page wasn't lining up. It was a little bit off. Like you could see just a tiny bit off. And I was fold. I was going this way. If that happens to you, try to turn it the opposite way. And then um, you know, line it up the way you want with your fingers, and then recrease it in a different direction, in the direction of where it's short. And it should go into place that way. Just if that's a little hint from my card card making days. All right, let's see here. We'll put this here. We're still getting a piece of both places, and we're covering up that line there. Um, hold on one second. I think I need something just a little bit longer because this is longer. And I like that. So I'm just going to make it a tiny bit thinner though. Um, just a little thinner. <clears throat> My stomach's rumbling. There we go. Okay, I like that. So let's glue that down. And then I'll refold it when it dries. So I wanna let it dry a little bit. When you fold your glue, when it's wet, it leaves that crease in there pinched up, upward, and it's not actually flat to your paper. That's not what you want either. There we go. Okay. So on this side, um, did I, did I, let me see, I think I did. I collaged in the inside here too. Nope, I just put a piece of paper and then I collaged, these are, these pieces are collaged. So we can find a piece of paper to put on the inside there. I don't even think I have the same paper here. I have green. One. Oh, maybe I have a piece from the <clears throat> from the kit that I just made. Yeah, that's good. Let's use that. Okay, so I'm just going to glue it inside because this are going to act as my tabs. So if you have one of these, they're really fun to work with and quick and easy to make a book from. They really are. Let me get the size here of the measurement. One of the times that I measure. <laughs> okay, so we're at seven and three quarters. And this is the part I hate. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, seven and three quarters. That's right there. good to me maybe just to, I'm just gonna take a sliver a tiny sliver off and this is a store-bought item so it's probably the measurements are very precise they're very precise so I don't have to worry to uh, match it on the inside and I'm not gonna meet each side you know because this is going to cover just want to make sure that it's matching here and it is 
All right, so let's glue it down. Look at that. This glue is amazing to me. It just goes wherever it wants. All right, so I'll just do this up here. I'll make sure I get the edges really good. Oh no, I didn't want to get there. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't want to get there because then I don't want it to fold in on my page. Did I get, I did a little bit. That's all right, I could break it apart with the ruler. And then I'll let you guys go and we'll, we'll see you again tomorrow. I might continue the video. I keep saying that, you know, I have to do that because I don't have any videos in the bank and I have to go to my sister's this weekend. I do. So putting this in here, I'm kind of just going to get it in the middle of the, oops, I need to move down a little bit. You have a little play, not much, with the um, glue stick. Drop the ruler, it's okay. And it's a little crooked. Oh, we fixed it. Okay, I think we we didn't we didn't probably fix it, but it's okay. <laughs> this is going to cover like that. And if I have a little hangover hangage over the sides, um, if it's a little hangage over the sides, I'm not concerned about it because I could honestly just take a strip off. So I need to I need to sew this now, like I did this. I'll have to sew it and clip the little circles out, which I can do that now. here and then to get them even on each side let's fold this together through the middle now I want to give it a it's got it's got a um a tiny little spine in there which I could see I can see from I could see it and feel it but I can't see it with my collage and you probably can't either so Make sure this is down. We're gonna re-give it the we're gonna re-give it the um, little spine there in a second. You know it's rounded, of course, because that's how the book must have been. Okay, so I can see it on this side, so I'm gonna just go ahead and do that and use my ruler. And actually, I think I'm gonna wait till the glue is dry because it's gonna wrinkle my paper. So wait till your glue is dry before you do it. Wait, just wait. Don't be impatient, just wait. <laughs> wait till it's dry. I'm gonna wait till it's dry. We'll do that tomorrow together. But what I would do when the glue is dry is I'm going to close it together and then make my hole punches at the same time so that they're even. I am going to wait for this to dry for tomorrow. So I will see you guys again tomorrow and we'll, we will, um, you know, finish this cover. And this one is for zero. And I'll see if I can find the, um, I'll see if I can find my sister's bunnies. I, I, to be honest with you, I have no idea if even where to look for them, but I will, I'll, take a try okay <laughs> and then um we'll make one for zero the cover for zero and i'll show you guys how i did that and it's quick and simple just to, to bind that in we're just going to use a two hole punch and a piece of ribbon honestly very quick and simple and i haven't decided yet inside maybe we'll do pictures pictures of our family so we can um you know continue with that theme so i haven't made i haven't done work in my journal in quite some time in my family journal well thank you so much for joining me um blessings to all of you i will see you tomorrow for uh the next day is it day 12 uh, i don't even know what's tomorrow 
Oh boy. I'll probably I'll probably continue the doing tonight. I don't know where's my calendar. I'm gonna have to clean up. Definitely gonna have to clean up. I'm in an abyssal mess here. Okay, so blessings to all of you, my crafting buddies. And I will see you guys again uh tomorrow for the next day of the 100 day craft project. <laughs> Bye for now, my crafting buddies.